Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Final Fantasy, The Dawn of Souls for the GBA. I'm Samurai Tex, and when we last left off, we went to the Crescent Lake, and we got a canoe. So now we had to go to Mount Gulag, as that's our next assignment, to get the second crystal and fight the Fire Fiend. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So let's go, as we start Mount Gulag. And we are going to do the usual with these, um... Caves. If we find a new enemy, we're going to fight it and demonstrate it and show you what they are, like this Sphinx right here. And um, if they are old enemies we fought in the past, we will just do the skip, skip, and skip, skip, skip. Anyway, let's go and eliminate the Sphinx. Great start. 580 XP and 2,320 deal. Great stuff, great stuff, great stuff. Is there any treasure around it? I hope so. Let's keep going. Alright, so um, we're going to keep going around and... Um, let's go up, and let's go, never mind. Alright, so we got an Ogre Mage, an Ogre Chief, and a Hy Hyena Don, which is the newest enemy around. The Hyena Don isn't as tough as you think, neither are the um, Ogre Mages and Ogre Chiefs, we've already fought them before, but the Hyena Dons aren't really that tough. They have 220 HP, I believe. Okay, maybe not, they have 200 HP. While the Ogre Chiefs just about have 200, so these enemies are pretty easy to kill. And just like that, they are all good on. Alright, so now let's go to the second of the below ground floor two. And we're going to grab all the treasures here. I can't guarantee we, have, we know where every treasure is. And here's the um, alternate um, as palette swap of the Gargoyles. A Horned Devil. And they obviously cast fire because they're red. But yeah, we're going to keep going. And um, their HP isn't really as impressive as you think. No, they're not. But of course... One more left. Cole isn't going to do much damage because, well, he's the weakest in the team, so um, he ain't going to do that much damage. 387 XP, very good. And we're going to have to heal Luffy Manga. Why? Because Luffy Manga is close to death, but we're going to heal everybody because we're all on 300. Okay, are we going to do one more? Um, no. I suppose we could use potions, maybe. Yeah, we're going to use a potion. To heal um, Luffy Manga to fully, and um, that's it. Now we're going to go to this treasure, and it's got a pressure plate on it, and we're fighting a Fire Hydra. Hail Hydra! But now, Hail Hydra is dead. Right, there we go, 303 XP, and it's Red Fang, which casts Fira, and another pressure platform, which gives us Fire Elemental. We faced the Earth Elementals in the previous um, cave, now we're facing Fire Elementals. Expect to run into those pretty often. But yes, in this um, dungeon, or um, dungeon, or um, caves, or, and whatnot, this has a high encounter rate, but if you're playing on the NES version, um, let's just say the encounter rate is over ridiculousness. But yeah, um, here's the Ankh Eggs. Ankh Eggs? Yeah, I think that's what they're called. This will be the first time we'll demonstrate them, and probably the last, because um, we're not going to really... If we see them again, we're just going to skip it, but... Um, yeah, um, like I said, the encounter rate is pretty high in Mount Gulag, but um, if you do go to, um, if you do play the NES version of this game, the encounter rates are pretty ridiculous in um, the NES version, um, in most of the um, caves in the game anyway. And um, some of the magics that you do have in some of the um, games are pretty bugged, so they won't really work as to its potential, which is um, true. And we did skip that fight. I told you I'll skip the um, encounter enemies that we've seen from pre videos and whatnot. And that's Hill Gigasses, we're not going to um, show that on there. Now we've got more encounters. Hill Hydra! There we go, and we just eliminated uh, Fire Hydrant. Or oh, Fire Hydra. And now we're going to go down here, and oh, there is a treasure there, but is there a treasure somewhere else as well? Let's encounter more Heandons, Ogre Mages, and Ogre Chiefs, which we're not going to fight. Now we're going to go this way, and another encounter. Four Ankhex. Um, skip! And we beat them, and do we level up? Yes, we do. We level up, I believe, to level 30. We came into this um, cave, or Mount Gulag, um, the volcano. We came into it pretty overleveled, but there, when people say they're overleveled, um, I believe there's no such thing as being overleveled in this game. Now we got poison in the process of leveling up, but at the end of the day, it was worth it. And now we've got a heal Gigas. We're just going to beat it because just one. Attack the heal Gigas and defeat it. 879 jewel. Oh, another encounter. Hill Hydra. Hill Hydra is going to get slain. Alright, so that's very easy. Right, so let's grab the 795 jewel and a pressure plate and a fire elemental. Let's hunt it down. 
Well, let's kill it so effortlessly. It needs one more attack and it's dead. And there we go. It has under 300 HP, uh, 300 HP and it's another 700 duo. So yeah, we're going to um, see. Oh, we've already got Mithril, um, a lot of Mithril items, except for the um, Knight's Armor for ourselves, which isn't the best we can do for now anyway. But we are going to continue on and um, enjoy this game. And let's see. Just to cure ourselves of the poison, because every time we encounter, seems the enemies are always poisoning us. They're not poisoning nobody else. But yeah, um, we're going to heal. There we go. And um, yeah, we healed Gronus because he was low. But Manga... Manga's health is really bad. And so is Gronus's, because um, both of them are not even over 400. Well, myself and Cole, we're over 400. Yeah, we're not going to fight those because we've already encountered them before. Now we're going to try and get that treasure chest right there because it's just around the corner. But yeah, let's keep going. Right, let's um, yeah skip that fight again. And then another one, we're going to skip the Horned Devils because we've already encountered them. We're just going to run around to get the treasure. And um, yeah, we're going to skip this. Yeah, we're always going to keep skipping. So yeah, I'm just going to um, ignore. And um, yeah, we're not going to show that. So let's keep going. And again, we're going to see an Ankeg, and um, the Ankeg is no longer around, and there's a pressure pressure plate, and we're going to fight two fire elementals. And then the two fire elementals isn't really that strong. The thief really has an amazing attack. Right, ow. And, well, his defense is pretty bad. But that's okay, because the fire elemental should be down. Just like that, it is dead. 810 EXP. Now we get a great sword. Great swords are pretty strong, so um, what we're going to do is, um, can Bonger equip it? Nope. Alright, so what about Grum myself? Myself, we will lose two um, attack points, and uh, we will um, have five higher accuracy. But now nah, we don't want a great sword, because we've already got a powerful sword, so... Yeah, I suppose um, the only real thing I might um, demonstrate as well is axes. Because the axes in this game are pretty powerful. But low on accuracy but um i think the worst accuracy weapon is actually the hammer which cole has cole has a mithril hammer and um, his accuracy is actually in the 50s but um everybody else's accuracy from grodus barger and myself we got over 100 percent accuracy so we are guaranteed to hit every single time no matter what we're not gonna miss but cole on the other hand he's gonna miss sometimes but as you can see already from playing this game He's been hitting like 90% um, of his hits, so um, yeah, Cole has been hitting 90% of the time, and we've gained a level again, so yes, we're powering up every time, we got the strong stats increase, which is good for us, Gronus got the weak increase, but good MP increase, and Banga, weak increase, of course, but his strength is increasing, and Cole got the weak one, so we the only ones that got a strong increase, and we're poisoned. So what we did is use the antidote to heal ourselves, which is um, convenient, because we do need it. And what we're going to do is find the other treasures, because the other treasures are somewhere around. So, yeah, I think if we follow this trail here, we will... No, not here. If we go down a bit this way, then we will find them. And, um, yeah, so we're going to keep going down and just go around here. And more encounters. We're just going to kill the Fire Hydra, because there's only one of them. And every Banga has eliminated it rather quickly. Good job, Banga. You know, to be honest, I'd rather be the thief instead of the um, knight, but it's, it's late. Now I've got fire elementals, because I think we stepped on a pressure plate, so by press, um, stepping on a pressure plate, we will encounter enemies. There is pr pressure plates around, but um, sometimes you won't even know where they are, sometimes you will, because um, if you, cause even if you step on it once um, and walk past it, if you step on it again, you're going to encounter that same enemy. So yeah, Mithril Helm, Mithril Gloves... High potion, tent, and there's going to be a pressure plate right here. There we go, see? And we're getting ambushed by a lava worm, which is a new enemy. We've yet to encounter the lava worm. So, yeah, pretty basic. It has um, about 200 HP, and it's dead, see? So it's a pretty easy enemy to kill. We've got an antidote. We've got Jill, and more Jill. And we're going to grab even more Jill, and then a pressure plate. And face the Hyena Don, I Ogre Chief, and an Ogre Mage. There we go, that's only one HP damage, that's pathetic. And you lot are dead. Thank you very much, and thank you for coming. And let's grab these Mithril Axe, Mithril Shield, 
and a phoenix down. Right, we're going to check our equipment. And I think the only thing that would be good for us is the mithril axe, which will lower our accuracy. Um, the mithril axe tends to lower the accuracy to by five, I told you, but it's worth it because we get a uh, two uh, attack points boost. So yeah, what we're going to do is use the mithril axe for now. Um, nobody else can equip the mithril axe, so yeah, we're going to equip the equip the swords. And let's see what Barnga can do. Um, nope. Um, that's unfortunate for Barnga. Barnga can't really uh, move on. Cole is always going to be on 18 um, attack points with the Mithril Hammer. Um, the Staff and whatnot isn't really that strong. But yeah, we've stepped on the pressure plate again to encounter the Fire Elemental. The Fire Elemental is going to go down after two strikes from our team. Good job, guys. And now we're going to just leave this place because I believe we need to uh, progress to um, B3. And B3 is nearby, so we're just going to have to quickly go around this way. Grey oozes. Um, no, we're not going to fight those. We've we've not seen them in a while, but grey oozes we've already seen, and we don't really need to see them, even though grey oozes really look blue. So I can't really say um, grey oozes. They should really be called blue oozes. Yes, blue. They look blue, just like um, some enemies are called grey, and they're um, some a different color. I don't know why they call them that specific color when they're really not that color. It just makes no sense. But anyway, I'm just going on a little tirade. We have a, yeah, we're going to go to the um, third floor very soon, but yeah, I don't really run away from fights. You know when I do um, skip the um, enemy encounters, which I've been doing, I actually do fight them, and then if I do level up, I show you like you saw in the previous um, parts of the, the games. But Ogre Chief isn't really going to last long because, eh, not too much health. And there we go. Um, we're getting a good amount of Jill as well from all these enemies. Hill Gigas. Eh, it's only one of them. We're going to beat them. Um, it's just very easy to beat the Hill Gigases once you're in them, once you're powered up to a certain level. And we are in the level 30s. So, yeah, I'm pretty much in a good position right now in terms of that. And there's the Hank Hags. And we've gained a level from beating the Hank Hags. Um, so we've already gained three levels since being in Mount Gulag, which is nice. And Gronus has now officially entered the 400 HP section. Barga, on the other hand, is probably not. He's probably going to get a weak level up, which he did. So did Cole in terms of the HP. But that is okay. We're doing very good so far in terms of us being in a good position. There's fire elementals. And of course, we've already encountered them, so we don't really need to do much. And another enemy encounter. Ogre cheats and Ogre mages. We don't really need to do much with them. We just... There's a pressure plate we stepped on to encounter the fire elemental. And the fire elemental should be down after one more strike. And just like that, the fire elemental says goodbye. And what are we going to get in the treasure? We got more Jill, which is okay. More Jill equals um, good business. Yeah, we're not going to show you that fight against the Ag Hags because, well, they're boring. We're going to show the fight against the um, fire elemental. And down he goes. Very easy. And we're getting a lot of HP for it, which is uh, not HP, we're getting a lot of experience points because of it. Well, well um, we've already fought the Gigases and the Lizards, so we're just going to flee. This is probably the first fight you saw me flee. Yes, we fleed successfully. And now we're going to run and go this way, go this way, see what's in there. Absolutely nothing, it's just where we've been before. Same with that door, and we've run there and we got Fire Hydra. Yeah, we're not really going to um, show you what happens there, because the Fire Hydra is a Fire Hydra. And if we go in here, it will just lead us up there. So yeah, we're just going to go to B3, and here we are. And um, we've got two more floors, but um, before we get to B4, before we get to B5, we're going to have to go down to B4, and then back to B3, and so on and so on, because this place is quite easy to get lost if you don't know what you're doing. I've played this game, but it's been a while, but uh, my memory is actually very good, so... I do know where I'm particularly going with um, with this um, place, but um, even though I know where I'm going with this place, this might take some time because we're going to keep running into many encounters, and plus I still look for some treasures and everything else so that um, I could try and remember where everything is, but um, you already know from playing me playing this and watching my video that I don't know where everything is. I should have said that um, when I first started the Let's Play, but I'm saying a bit later on in the Let's Play. I'm not really a hunt here to 100% this game. Why well, I'm here to 100% it to an extent in beating it. That's what I mean by 100%ing. But in terms of remembering where stuff are and all that stuff, well, you're watching the wrong Let's Play because I don't know where everything is, but I do know how to beat this game and whatnot. So yeah, and the challenge is therefore me but I'm not really going to get everything 
you know there is some specific things that i will miss out like specific um items of like a gauntlet and whatnot um you know like in this uh, gold if you don't have to equip the gauntlet on the um person but you can use it as an um, item if you press gauntlet then you use it as an item and um it would um, save your mp and it will cast some specific spells to help your team which is pretty helpful so we got back down to b3 now we're at b4 yeah, I think we're going to go down to B3 again to um, casually go around, but um, obviously we're going to face a Hellbound. This is an upgrade to the Hyenas, who are blue. And now we're facing the Hellhounds, who are dead. That is okay, because um, if we encounter the Hellhounds again, we are not going to um, do much in terms of that. But um, let's keep going and um, go around this way and... Um, oh, jeez, more random encounters. Hello, Hydra. Well, I'm not going to say Hell Hydra, I just did. But Hell Hydra is dead, Fire Hydra. Alright, so let's keep going, and um, this way. I believe this way is the right way, or is it this way? Um, I'm just exploring around this place, because uh, maybe I might get some uh, items if I remember where they are. But yeah, the Fire Hydra has officially cast a fire spell on us, which is not too good. But he's paid the price for it by dying, which is good. And the Hydra deserves to die. And I believe we just went back to where we were. But before we do anything, Grodus is at a low um, bargain near um, below 100, so yeah, let's hit the Hilara, which is level 2 heal, which is um, a good spell, but um, there is a level 3 heal out there, which we'll be getting um, within the next few videos, because, um, well, yeah, you um, have to be specific levels to learn specific spells in this game, like you've already seen it, so um, yeah. As you saw, we've, um, we encountered Minotaurs. I think that's the first time we've encountered them in this um, Mount Gulag fiery um, cave, but it's okay. Um, they're not really a um, distraction as much. They're pretty easy to beat the Minotaurs, considering that we're pretty much overpowered against some specific enemies, because um, we kind of overpowered ourselves, which is kind of amusing, really, the fact that we've done that, but it's okay. So let's keep going and encounter more enemies, which is the Hill Gigases, but... Um, yeah, the Hill Gigases do drop a lot of um, Geo, which is good. So having two of them there was pretty good, because we um, got a decent amount, which is 1,600 and probably some... Um, I, I think 1,700, sorry, because it's... Um, I think it's 890 they dropped, so yeah, we probably picked up 1,700 Geo from those guys. But yeah, um, let's see. We're going to use a High Potion on Grodus, who is dying, and Bargo, who is dying. And so am I, actually, but um, I'm in a better condition. I got more health. Like, I've got, well, I would have said I got the highest health in the team, which I don't, because that's gone to coal. We've got a gold needle, which helps some um, stone, and now we've run into a pressure plate to fight a lizard. And the fire lizard, and um, cast blaze, but um, the fire lizard is obviously a um, palette swap and a, a more powerful version of the lizard. I only say powerful because it has more abilities to use on you, and it has more attack strength, but in terms of EX, um, HP, sorry, it's useless, but... Yeah, as you saw, we got a strong um, HP boost. Well, um, so far, Grodus and Banga didn't really get much in terms of that, and Cole did. So, myself and Cole have finally made it up to 500 HP, which is pretty nice. But, um, unfortunately for um, Banga and Grodus, they never really get it. We were ambushed by that lava um, worm, but the lava worm ended up dying miserably. But that was okay. Well, let's see what's next. Minotaurs, we're really not going to um, fight the Minotaurs because we've already beaten them before. We already demonstrated what the Minotaurs do. They are strong, don't get me wrong, but not strong enough for the Light Warriors. 155 duo, and how much duo is this? We got we stepped to the pressure plate. It's a um, preemptive strike against the Hellhounds, which is good. And the Hellhounds are gone. Goodbye. Um, let's see how much HP. 10 Jill! My goodness, man. 10 Jill, look at that, it made me raise my voice a bit, saying 10 Jill. But yeah, I cannot believe it, we actually got 10 Jill from a treasure box. I thought my days of getting poor treasures were done, until we picked up 10 Jill just now. I am absolutely disappointed that I picked up 10 Jill. Here I was expecting to pick up something good from these treasure boxes, instead we get 175 Jill, and then 10 Jill. Both were insulting. I am not happy with that, but you got to live along with it. I could have went into a small round, but I'm not going to do that either. More treasures, and a pressure plate. Fire Hydra, that Fire Hydra, shall die. And no, no Hail Hydra. Told you, Hydra is down. We got an Antidote, we got 880 Jill, 
7,340 7, dew, an ice brand sword, and a pressure plate. We have a lava worm. Um, yes, we beat the lava worm, and we got a flame shield. Right, so let's go to our equipment, and we can officially discard the knight's armor. Well, first we're going to discard the mithril shield, and um, give it. Um, we did give the fire shield, so that boosted our defense by four. And Gro Grodus can actually um, sh use the ice brand to um, extend his attack strength by six to make it thirty-nine. Barga unfortunately has to stay on thirty, but for a thief, he is pretty damn strong in this game. But let's keep going nonetheless, because um, what we're going to do is try and um, beat this in um, five minutes time. But um, normally when I give myself a duration, sometimes I pass it because um, I do get a bit carried away when I'm recording. So um, I did say, um, all right, let's pick up 2000 jewels, sorry, and a cottage. Much better than the tent. The cottage heals a majority of your health and MP, but a cottage... He was all of it, so yeah, I'm, I'm not going to sell the cottages, I'm going to cape them. But yeah, um, we've run into an enemy encounter, which is a hellhound, and we beat the hellhound because there's only one of them. Alright, so we've got everything in there. Now we're going to have to go to the, um, okay, never mind. Prep the strike, we beat the um, worm, and we're going to pick up more treasure. Never mind, we picked up more treasure plates, and we're going to fight the lizard. If things go well, it should go down after two strikes. Okay, never mind. It went down after three strikes. It couldn't hit us because we get the preemptive strike, meaning it was the first attack. We get more dew and another pressure plate, and it's a lizard. And the lizard gets to attack because he got an ambush on us. Very well then. You want to play like that? Well, we can play hardball, and you are officially gone. Over 300 health that lizard has, but it's pretty weak still. And we got a staff. So we got a crappy 10 dew. And now we got a crappy staff, one of the worst weapons in the game for Cole. To believe it or not, Cole has one of the worst weapons in the game. And as you saw, I skipped the fight. And now we're going to go down to Mount Gulag B5, which is the final floor of this um, lava um, dungeon or lava cave. I keep calling it a dungeon. I keep thinking of Zelda, that's why. Well, Goro is going to use Kurega and heal Cole, heal Branga, heal me, and heal himself. And we are all on a decent amount. And now we're going to move on and um, see what's in here. In here should be a treasure. I don't know which one it is, but it should be a um, flame-related um, weapon or flame-related um, armor or something along those lines. For now we're going to attack these um, fire lizards. Goodbye. I think there's going to be a pressure plate very soon. And then uh, we leveled up by, um, after that fight. And everyone's got a stat, weak stats boost. Yep. Did Cole? Nope. Only Cole got a good one there, and we've ran into a pressure plate with a red dragon on it. This red dragon isn't really that strong, but um, cast blaze, and I think it should do a lot of damage because it is a dragon after all. But in terms of HP, this dragon is not that strong. Plus, we've um, used its weakness, which is a sword. Got 4,000 gem, we've got a flame mail. Uh, so that flame mail is going to be replaced, um, replacing the knight's armor. Then we're going to increase our evasion by a remarkable. 23, so at least we're likely to dodge things now, now that our evasion is 89. The um, Bonga's one is the highest, because he's a thief, so he's got that little quick speed in him, plus um, his speed has been increasing the more he um, the more he levels up and whatnot, so yeah, things are good. We um, gave ourselves some potions, which is nice. And now we're facing Ogre Mages, which are boring, and we're going to face a uh, Fire Lizard, again a boring enemy. Now we're going to go in here and run. Right, so we're going to just go and beat the, um, beat the cave, because um, we are getting close to that time where um, not many people will watch a RPG which is over 25 minutes, so let's have our encounter, shall we? Yes, we are, because um, we are getting to that time. So you are the ones who defeated the Fiend of Earth and roused Marlif from her slumber. Yep, the new um, Fiend is Marlif, the Fiend of Fire. So now we're ready for our second crystal encounter. Beat Marlith, and we get a um, second crystal. The power of the burning flame is mine and mine alone. Those who oppose me shall burn in hellfire. We shall see. I'm going to burn you. Right, so Marlith is pretty damn strong. So, of course, Cole is going to have to um, cast... Protera on all of us, which we're going to do, so, um, of course, um, haste is grown us, 
Bong will come on the attack, and um, with us, we're going to cast Proterra on ourselves, because we need a defense, so yeah. Everyone's got the worst. Look at that. 250 damage to Cole. If Cole didn't have a lot of um, HP, then he would have been dead. But at least with the um, increases to defensive boost, which is good, you'll be fine. So we're going to cast haste on Rodas. Well, Rodas cast haste on himself. Bongo, not yet. And Cole will use... Um, no, we can't use Diara because of the fact that Diara is actually pretty... Um, well, Marlif isn't really a dead person, is she now? But yeah, we're gonna have to cast haste on Grodus. And then we're gonna have to use Hilara on ourselves because Cole took massive damage. So yeah, Cole really needs to heal, and we took 14 damage, but the Proterra has helped us. Grodus is now gonna cast haste on Banga because Banga needs haste. And um, we're gonna make Banga just attack, and Cole can use. Um, uh, attack. Right, there we go. 193 damage. Marlif should have um, 12,000 HP in terms of um, health. So yeah, Marlif isn't really that... Well, Marlif should be... If you're leveled up at the right um, stats, I believe um, in terms of being um, level ready for this fight, I believe um, it's... Um, let me think. I think um, you've got to be at least... Level 27 or 28 to beat her, but we're on over level 30, so yeah, we're pretty dangerous as it is. Right, so we're going to cast um, heal. Well, we're going to do Curega. Cole's going to do Curega on himself, but we're going to attack. Just keep attacking like that. Oh, 170. Uh oh. All right, can we beat him? Um, can we beat her quickly? We're going to use Curega on ourselves and get 285 health. We're just going to keep attacking Marlith, otherwise, um, yeah, we're down. We're going to use Blizzard, shall we? I think we should. Um, I don't think we did, but um, I think we cancelled the Blizzard and did just an attack because um, we've all got haste. Right, so um, Cole's going to use Curega on Banga because Banga's health is pretty bad. But um, hopefully um, Marlith dies by then. There we go, 10 hits, and Marlith is officially dead. Yes! <laughs> so, we're officially halfway in getting um, the crystals. 618 EXP, and how much geo is it now? 3000 geo. Not too bad. The dragon gave us more, though. So, this is our second of four crystals. We defeated Marlith the um, Fire Fiend, or the Fiend of Fire. And it's all nice and dandy. Of course it is. Alright, so, yeah, um... With us defeating uh, Marlif, it looks like it's going to um, create a pathway for us. Yep, that same place where um, she was blocking the way, she's beaten, and now we can officially access that place. But we won't be accessing none of these um, none of these um, caves yet because um, one, we need to level up um, a lot, and two, we um, I think we should be better better equipped, but we're not right now. So, yeah. Um, Let's just get out of here. As you saw, we got the red crystal now. We step into this portal and leave Mount Gulag, exit, and we don't have to travel around. So there we are. Now what we're going to do is actually, um, should we use an um, item to heal? Yeah, I think we're going to use a tent. We might use a tent or a cottage. You know, let's use a cottage. Ah, oh, what a great theme. But yeah, as you saw, the cottage is so much better than a tent. But yeah, this is where we're going to end the video. I'm really enjoying this Let's Play, by the way. And we leveled up a total number of five times. We were level 28 going there, and we left as level 33. That is very nice, actually. But um, yeah, this is the end of the video. We took 28 minutes to do that entire um, dungeon of the cave slash dungeon. But yeah, when we come back, folks, we are going to... Um, I think we need to get the airship in the next video, actually. So, yeah, I'll see you guys on Thursday for another episode of Final Fantasy, The Dawn of Souls. Samurai TX is signing out for this episode. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Goodbye.